Welcome to Supervisor Series. In this episode, we will deploy the same application as we did in the previous episode, but this time we'll do it through the cloud consumption interface. To access CCI, we launch vSphere Plus from VMware Cloud Services and select the vCenter with Enable Developer Experience. Based on our user assignment, we will be redirected to our project. Here we can start with creating a new supervisor namespace. We'll base it on a basic namespace class and create namespace1 in our on-prem region. Once the namespace is created, we will proceed with deploying the database VM. We will give it a name, select the VM image and a VM class. The YAML manifest will be automatically generated for us on the right side of the screen. Next, we define a load balancer to expose the database on required ports. And lastly, we will add our cloud config to configure the MySQL database. Here we also have an option to download the created YAML file for later use. Now we can deploy the VM and after a few minutes, we can see it powered on and ready. We can also look at the machine details and also review the YAML of the running VM. Next, we will deploy a TKG cluster. We will select cluster class and custom configuration. Provide a cluster name, select the same version as before, provide networking details and a storage class. Now we will configure control plane VMs, select the VM class and change the OS to Ubuntu. And lastly, we will configure our worker node pools. The complete cluster YAML manifest has been again generated for us and we can simply download it here. Once the cluster is deployed, we can again view the details as well as the YAML spec of the running cluster. We will need to get the external IP of the database VM for later configuration. We can easily do that by going into the network service tile and obtaining the IP. Now let's switch over to the CLI. We will log in using an API token that we have generated in our VMware Cloud profile. This will create a kube config file with appropriate access. As the supervisor layer is abstracted away from our persona, we first need to obtain the supervisor IP. To do this, we will switch to the CCI context and describe the supervisor namespace. Once we have the IP, we can use it to log into the TKG cluster we have deployed earlier. Now we will just repeat all of the steps to deploy the backend and frontend of the application. If you'd like to see more details on what exactly we're doing with these steps, feel free to check our previous episode. And finally, once we have the external IP of our frontend service, we can open it in our browser and see that our application has loaded. And that's it for this episode. We'll see you in the next one soon.